Hello YouTube. My name's Peter Hodge and um, I'm a new pipe smoker. Well, saying new, I've been uh, smoking for all pipes for about um, a year. I started January 2013 and um, I see a lot of communities on YouTube uh, making a review about various pipe tobaccos and such and I thought I'd um, tag along and join in as it were. Um, I'll do a sort of introductory video to show you around what, uh, what I have in my uh, limited stock at the moment. Um, at the moment I've got a uh, no, not a piece of um, Rat Tray's Bagpiper's Dream, which is actually the newest tobacco I've bought. Very nice tobacco that is as well. Um, haven't got many pipes, haven't got many tobaccos, but uh, I say for only one year of smoking, it's uh, not too bad. Um, this here is the first pipe I ever bought, which is a piece of Kalani. Very nice red pipe. It is as well. Don't smoke this very often anymore because it's. Can't, don't like um, putting the pipe cleaners down the stem because it's uh, very tricky with these old curved, curved stems. I find that's the first pipe I ever bought, and um, I had a uh, tin of Peterson's um, Sunset Breeze, which was probably quite an uh, interesting one to go for for a first choice. It was nice, I like the amaretto flavour, but it did have a tendency to a uh, tongue bite, which I'm not very keen on tongue bite. Um, but that's, uh, that's my first pipe. The second pipe I ever bought is actually this one I'm smoking here. It's another Peterson's. This is the 9mm Dublin, I believe. Um, number 6. Very nice, it's got the funny, um, is it P? Or something with a little hole on the top. It's a very nice pipe. This is actually why I think my favourite pipe is. I call it my Scottish pipe because um, in August 2013 I did uh, the Edinburgh Fringe and I was almost smoking this pipe constantly. Um, but it's a lovely pipe and it's got a lot of sentimental value for me now, which is good. Very nice pipe indeed. Um, this was the third pipe. This is a Carrie's Magic Inch, one of their 10 minute smoke pipes. First rustic finish pipe I bought. Um, I wanted something which was just a little quick smoke because um, whereas this is a lovely pipe, it does take about, you know, the other one takes about half an hour and 40 minutes to smoke. Sometimes you just want something very quick, and that's the one I have for a quick smoke. Um, I like clay pipes, I have a pattern for clay pipes, so it's easy I think. They're very nice, got two. I think they're both by Wilson's or Sharon, but I'm not entirely sure. This was the second one I ever bought. Very nice, useful little thing. And this is the third one, it's actually my newest pipe, this one. I did have exactly the same one as this before, but I dropped it and that was that. So my first clay pipe broke the day I actually smoked it. So. But um, no, these two have lasted a little bit longer. And then I've got a lovely Peterson's Church Warden as well. One of them, beautiful pipe that is. It's actually quite a quick smoke, it's got a very small bowl capacity, but it's a very nice, very nice pipe. Um, going on to tobaccos. I haven't got too many, but I've got some. Of course, we've got the um, Rat Tray's Bagpiper's Dream. Lovely, sort of plummy infused cognac y aromatic. It's a delightful smoke. I absolutely adore it, actually. Um, it's a 100 gram thing, so it should last me a little while. I don't tend to smoke very fast or, or uh, a lot. I sort of have a pipe once every two weeks, thereabouts. So I'm not a heavy smoker at all, very light smoker. 
fact, I don't really consider them another smoke, I just enjoy it for pleasure. Although many pipe smokers do, which is intelligent enough not to smoke those little death sticks. Um, in these rather attractive little ex olive jars, actually, not jam jars, there should be some olives in here. I've got um, some GQ tobacco blends. This one's Cypriot Sunset, and this one here is the Christmas blend. These are very nice, they're a bit strong. Um, I find nic high nicotine, I'm not really used to high nicotine content, but um, they are very nice. I actually adore them, they're very tasty, full of flavour. Um, very nice indeed. Now this is one of the tobaccos I bought in Scotland. It's um, Ashton's Smooth Sailing. This is a very nice tobacco as well. This is another one of my favourites. It's uh, got a lovely sort of chocolatey, coconutty smell to it. It's delicious. I was smoking this constantly up in Scotland in this pipe actually. Um, the only problem with that moment is it's a bit dry, it's gone dry, so I need to re-humidify it because it's too dry at the moment, so I can't really smoke it. Um, Peace and Sherlock Holmes, got a tin of that. Um, it's a nice blend, uh, not very distinctive because I can't really remember what it's like. Nice enough in its own way though, I think. Uh, one thing I remember about this is it smells very nice. Um, Peterson's Old Dublin, a lot of Peterson's, but the uh, the uh, the only sort of moderately decent tobacconists in Watford which sells pipe tobacco sells a lot of these sort of off-the-shelf type ones and uh, so I've had this one since I think I bought this in June last year, perhaps a bit earlier March. Um, that's lasted me a long time. It's a, uh, say I had a lot of aromatics, but didn't have a lot of sort of Englishy blends. So this was my first step towards English blends, and it's it's nice enough. Um, don't smoke it very often though. I don't smoke very often, so. And uh, next is Dunhill My Mixture. Bought this in Scotland as well. Smoked about two or three bowls in it since August. Don't like it very much. Um, not sure what to do with this. Um, I know a lot of you pipe community they swap tobacco, so if anyone wants the rest of this tin, which is pretty much a nearly a full tin, wants to swap it with something else, I don't know, then just let me know um, and see what happens. But uh, oh, Or I could just keep it and see if it uh, matures and see if I like it later on. Keep going back to it every now and then and see what happens. Anyway, this is a... That's, Pretty much all the type pipe stuff I have. Not a lot I know, but it's a start. I'll probably start reviewing all these in my next few videos. I'll perhaps review some of my pipes as well, um, in a bit closer detail. Um, other than that, I say I uh, look forward to being a member of the. YouTube pipe community. Thank you very much for watching.